welcome to another love reading of course. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading guys. This may or may not resonate with every Leo watching this video. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped. So feel free to switch those energies, vice versa. The hangman in reverse won't need to come out. Uh, time is fluid, as you know, you could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the near future. If this reading does resonate with you and you need a personal reading or that information is going to be down below. The second of swords won't have to come out, all right. All right, Leo. <clears throat> Current situation, we have Ace of Wands, so that's like a brand new beginning, okay? That's coming in or that you're wanting to start or this is coming in and you still don't see it. On your mind with the judgment in reverse here, I feel that this is you probably... Fear is stopping you from making a right decision right now is what I'm getting. The judgment in reverse, it is not giving something a second chance, all right? But again, I'm seeing a lot of fear, okay? You're probably misjudging a situation or misjudging a person, all right? This is not giving something a second chance. But again, you could be um, trying to avoid a lot of signs from the universe, okay? Only because you're fearing uh, if you make the wrong decision, okay? That's one thing that I see from your side. Their side with the tower in reverse here, I thought there has been a tower moment, which probably could be. There could be a tower moment and now this person wants to reverse the damages, alright? They want to rebuild with you or they want to avoid a disaster, alright? They're trying to avoid the breakup as much as they can. But I think there could have been a separation or breakup. Something could have shaken up this connection and now they want to reverse the damages, alright? And with the Ace of Wands here, this person wants a brand new beginning with you. But you're nah, not very sure about that. Because in your emotions, you're not ready to put in the work with the Eight of Pentacles in a verse here. Why? Because I think this is this is you not wanting to invest into this connection only because of fear of, of reciprocity, okay? You probably feel that if you put in the work this time, probably you're always being the one who's always putting in the work, okay? But I think this time it's like, no, it's not going to be me this time. It's going to be you who's going to put in the work. And if you're not going to put in the work, there's no second chances. That's what I'm getting, okay? They, on the other hand, with a magician in reverse here, right? This person's completely doubting themselves. All right, they're doubting the potential, they're doubting if they can make things happen with you. And just give me one second. Yeah. <clears throat> with the four of cups in reverse here as a mutual energy, I think you're both seeing this as a missed opportunity or probably this person is probably seeing you as the one who got away, okay? Because this person really wants to manifest things with you, but I'm getting they don't know how to. They're doubting if they can make things happen. This is lack of confidence, self-doubt. You are, because you're just not putting in work, right? You're not ready to give them a second chance. Look, your attitude towards them is the seven of wands. No, stay the fuck away from me. No more chances from, from my side. You know, it's like your guards are up. You're being very defensive. You feel the need to protect yourself, okay, from this person. They are the other hand paid of wands. You know, it's like I'm getting, they're so passionate about you. There's so much chemistry out here, right? I feel like the more you're guarding yourself, the more this person is getting attracted to you. If not, their attitude towards you is like, they're gonna go get it, okay? They've got that go for it attitude towards you, okay? They're very passionate about you. They know what they want and they're gonna get it. That's why your likely outcome is the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Which is slow movement, okay? It is slow movement, but it's almost like, the Knight of Pentacles is a very methodical guy, okay? Yes, he's super slow, slowest moving entity of the deck. He's on a horse, but he's actually on a snail, okay? So this is someone making snail, walking towards you at snail pace. They have something very solid. They want to offer you something committed, granted, okay? They definitely want something stable with you. They're not fucking around this time. But, but uh, it's just going to be slow. And the delay is because in their emotions, they're not sure if they can make this happen or not. Logically, they want to reverse the damages, whatever they did, okay? They want this beginning with you. But yeah, their attitude is, oh yeah, I'm gonna get this. Which is good, right? Which is good. Or they see you as someone very attractive, or they see you as a badass out here. Anything. Let's see, why the Ace of Wands here? Justice. They want to bring in equality in this situation. They want that balance, they want to regain, they want to regain and restore balance within the situation. They want to give you what you deserve. And uh, they want to balance the scales with you, okay? And that's why they want this new beginning with you. So probably things, they screwed up things between you guys, they messed up, and now they want to come in and take control of the situation, okay? Whatever happened, I don't blame you, Leo. Definitely you, I mean, you're definitely in two minds about giving this person a second chance. 
could be like a big fat no, but you're still not assertive about it. You're still not assertive about it. You're still like, I don't know if I want to do this, you know, I'm not sure. You're letting fear overpower your judgment. Again, you could be misjudging the situation or misjudging the person, okay? Why is the judgment in reverse? Why is the judgment in reverse? See, Knight of Swords in reverse. You want to say so much to this person. You want to talk to this person, okay? But you're holding back. I'm telling you, you're not in rush, okay? You're not rushing into something, okay? It's like you're holding back. Maybe there's an opportunity. Maybe this person is trying to come towards you and try to communicate with you a dozen times. And I think you're holding back communication from this person or there's so much that you want to say. And probably you feel that if you talk to this person, it's going to land up in a huge conflict. You guys are just going to lash out on each other, okay? Or I'm getting you're just super angry, frustrated with this with this person and you just don't want to lash out. This time you want to hold your houses. Because you feel if you talk to this person, right, it's going to create huge conflict between you guys. And you just want to hold back. You just want to take your own time. You're not sure. It's like you're letting it be a missed opportunity. Like, you know what, I don't think it's, either you think it's not the right time to communicate with this person, or you're just not feeling it. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? I have a feeling, Leo, you're waiting for this person to come correct to you. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? Ten of Wands. Because this is a relationship that is, well, that was a very big burden to you, you know, with the Ten of Wands here. I think you were overburdened with this relationship or it was stressing you out or it was just very overwhelming for you. But again, it's a very draining energy, okay? This could have sucked the energy out of you and you're like, you know what, no more. I don't think you guys are talking. You could be on a break with this person. Why is the tavern in reverse? Two cards already. Three of wands, this person's waiting. I think this person's waiting for you to give them a second chance because they want to definitely make things right. They want to rectify a bad situation, okay? They want to make a bad situation good. I feel it, okay? But they're waiting for you to get us, give them a second chance or waiting for you to open up the communication, um, you know, uh, communication lines. But they're waiting for your phones. They have a kind of, they almost have that faith that their ships are coming in, okay? They know it's going to happen. But with the Knight of Cups in reverse here, you're dealing with someone who's probably, someone very in and out, in and out of your life. Or someone, you know, who, who's just not ready to open up. They're not ready to open up emotionally, not wanting to be vulnerable. Okay, I think they're waiting for you to open up and you to be vulnerable towards them. But they're still holding back. At least emotionally they're holding back. Could be communication also, but they're still holding back. Logically, they want to make things right, but they're waiting. They think it's a logical thing to do to wait for you to calm down or cool off. Could be. I'm getting your fist as hell, Leo. Why is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? See, King of Pentacles in reverse. Either you feel you're dealing with someone who was non-committal, which was very obvious here. You're dealing with someone who just didn't want it. something long term, something not stable. You're dealing with someone who is very, very focused on their goals, their career. This is a very materialistic person and someone whose focus is never long term, okay? They're always like, they want the best, the fastest, the best, okay? But uh, they're never focused on a relationship, okay? They know what they want, they get and they need, okay? But again, this is someone who's just not ready for a commitment or this could be you who's not focusing on them, but now you're very, very focused on yourself, all right? The king of pentacles in reverse here. You're probably very focused on your money, your stability, your growth. Why is the king of pentacles in reverse? Someone's being very stubborn here. Could be you, you, Leo. Or you could just be dealing with someone who's stubborn and now you don't want to put in the effort to this person. Because it's like, I'm getting like you have this realization. You have like this truth that was smacked on your face that this is someone who's just not committed and it's no point putting in the work and effort in this person. Why is the king of pentacles in reverse here? Magician in reverse. Why is the king of pentacles in reverse here? Seven of cups. So this person could have you uh, confused Probably one second they showed you that they wanted you, but the second, uh, but, but the second minute when you when it got to something serious, they would back out. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse. This could definitely be the person you're dealing with, okay? Again, Knight of Cups in reverse is someone who's in it and out of it, right? In and out of it, like the Knight of Wands. It's just that this is someone who's emotionally very, very manipulated. Again, this person could be manipulated, but in a way where this person probably
probably self-sabotages the connection okay like they really really love you they really care for you they have a, you know they really want to be with you but they're just not the best person in expressing their emotions okay so you always constantly feel there's hiding something from you they're hiding something from you which is again kind of manipulative all right i'm with the king of pentacles in reverse here right i mean i think either you're focused or because of their in and out behavior because they were not showing commitment but they were probably giving you a little bit of um they were giving you small baits to keep you within the relationship, right? It's got you very confused in your head with the seven of cups. You just don't know what to do. You could be dreaming about this person, okay? But wanting things for this person, but... Why is the magician in reverse? Why is the magician in reverse? Why is the magician in reverse? Queen of Cups, there is a lot of love here. There is a lot of love here for sure, okay? This person loves you a lot. This person knows you love them a lot. But again, there is just feeling from within that they have that they just cannot make things happen with you. Probably they, again, I'm getting, they probably have a feeling that you won't give them a second chance, okay? Because you're holding back from them so much, okay? And you could have made it very clear to them that you want nothing to do with them. Why is the Queen of Cups, you know? Ten of Swords in reverse. They want to get this relationship back from the brink of failure, okay? Your relationship could have hit um, the ground, okay? But now they want to get this back. They want to bring it back, okay? They want this relationship back. They want to recover. They want to heal from whatever. I mean, it's almost like either two ways. Either they know that they hurt you and you feel very backstabbed and betrayed and they want to make up for it, okay? Or... With the Ten of Swords in reverse, this person wants to get this relationship back, okay? They want to, again, they want to recreate this relationship. And with the Ace of Wands and Justice here, they want to do correct. They want to be right this time. They want to come in correct towards you. With the Queen of Cups, there is a lot of love here, for sure. I'm not going to deny that. You, I don't see a lot of cups on your side. I don't see cups at all. Probably just the Seven of Cups. Because you're probably very hurt, you know? And I think now you are, it's like you are almost very, very focused on something stable, okay? But they're hurt. I feel this person out here, right, this side is almost realizing what they did. Why is the Four of Cups in reverse? Why is this the mutual energy? The Tower. So I'm hearing that either there's someone who's gone through an emotional trauma or someone who's gone through like, you know, a sudden emotional shake up in their lives with the four of cups in reverse here and now there's someone here who wants to you know come forward and give someone an offer okay now probably this person has had a huge realization an epiphany and now this person wants to come towards you they want to come out of their isolation mode and fall and give you whatever you need okay give you something stable something committed or you're going to consider this as a missed opportunity and you're just going to move forward because you no longer want to stay in that isolation phase because with the tower you know, you've had some realization okay it's like it's like you could have had a lot of red flags from the universe but you chose to ignore it okay but now you're probably finally considering the red flag and now you realize you know what it's best to let this person go because with the ten of wands you're, you're almost at the end of this road okay you're ready to lay the situation off it's just that with the seven of cups here, you're a little confused. Probably this person is keeping you a little confused, okay? Because they come in and out, they're very manipulative, etc. Why is the seven of wands here? Why is the seven of wands here? Knight of wands. The more you block this person, the more this person is going to come towards you with the knight of wands. They're coming towards you. They're very passionate about you. Very passionate. Why is the knight of wands here? This person is rushing in to communicate with you. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Empress in reverse. But I don't think that you're wanting to give your focus. You're not wanting to focus on this person anymore. You're not wanting to uh, put in the energy anymore. Or with the Seven of Wands and Knight of Wands, I think you're very determined and very focused on what you want. And with the Knight of Wands here, you're very passionate and you're going to go towards what makes you happy. Go towards what makes you passionate, okay? Could be work, could be another relationship. I'm getting, it's like if it doesn't work out with you, that's fine. It's okay if it doesn't work out with you, you know. Like I'm going to go ahead and pursue what makes me happy or go ahead and pursue um, and live in the moment. You're no more crying over spilt milk is what I'm getting. Okay, with Empress in reverse here, I don't think you have any interest at all in putting your energy 
and wanting this to grow okay you're not putting that's why there's a lack of growth and expansion within this relationship because you're not putting any work at all at all yeah so i feel that with the empress in reverse here you're going for what you want okay uh, but i don't think you're feeding or nurturing this connection anymore that's your attitude towards this person and with the seven of wands here i think you're super stubborn about this you could have block this person out, block them on social media or just energetically block this person out of your mind, okay? And now with the Queen of Wands here, this person is very passionate towards you and they're coming towards you. They find you very attractive, very sexy. They could even be thinking that you have a lot of suitors. But yeah, they see you as someone who's got that go for it vibe. You've got the ball rolling, you know? Where's the Queen of Wands here? Where's the Queen of Wands here? Three of Cups, they want this reconciliation with you. Like I said before, you know, they see you as the bad as the badass. You're hot shit, okay? If not, this person just has too much, too much of passion for you, okay? They feel the chemistry with you. Back of the Three of Cups. They want a new beginning with you with the Fool here. They want to take this new adventure with you. They want a reconciliation for sure, okay? But the problem here is, I mean, it's like, I think there's someone here who's coming out of that stagnation, okay? This person could have been in that uh, low vibrational energy for a very long time, okay? Maybe this person wasn't being able to offer you the entire package. This person was constantly breadcrumbing you, okay? I feel they're coming out of that energy and with the Tao you know, they've got like this huge realization and aha moment. And that's why this entire change came in. And this change, for this change to happen, you had to walk away from them. They're moving towards you with the Knight of Pentacles. It's slow, but they're coming. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Seven of Pentacles. I think they're waiting and watching. The I think they're coming in towards you, right? But with the Seven of Pentacles here, I think you... I think they're going to wait before they make a move. That's what I'm getting. Because with the Seven of Pentacles here, I think they're trying to re-evaluate the situation. They're trying to rethink about how to go about with the situation. Because this could have been a situation where, again, whether they committed to you or not, whether they were non-committal or whether they were emotionally manipulated, they have still invested their energy into this, okay? But with the Seven of Pentacles here, I think they're trying to re-evaluate the situation. They're trying to reassess what, also, what, what went wrong, what do they need to do, or what, I mean, how much should they invest? When should they invest? A lot of what, where, where, how, why, okay? But the Seven of Pentacles, it's a lot of waiting energy. Waiting patiently, okay? That's why the Knight of Pentacles, it's going to be very slow moving Leo's. So if you're asking me, oh, they're coming in, when are they coming in? Or like, oh, they're not coming back. Well, it's the Knight of Pentacles, okay? It's the slowest moving energy of the day, clarified by another card, which is again a lot of slow progress. It's going to take a lot of patience and this person is ready to do that. Okay, they're ready to it. They're, they're ready to give them. They're ready to have a lot of patience in this. Okay, they're going to take it very slow, one step at a time. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, they take baby steps towards their goal. So yeah, it looks good on their side. I don't know about how much you're going to let it. I mean, if you're going to accept this person or not, because you're going towards your happening. You're going towards. I know what I want, and I'm going to get it. Okay, like. Like for the for you, the, this is someone who's like bygones be bygones. Okay, I'm done, over with. You're not even feeding the connection. You're not even nurturing it. You're not giving it the attention that it received. Okay, because you could have given a lot to this person to a point of exhaustion. You could have given this person a priority. You could have put this person first. Okay, and then it was you. Okay, now I think it's like me first. That's the kind of energy you have. I think you're very focused um, on anything but this relationship but with the seven of cups there's still a little com confusion here okay because you just don't know what's going on maybe you feel work not working towards this situation and focusing on yourself is the correct situation or maybe you think this person does love maybe you have a feeling that this person does love you right but then why aren't they committing to me why aren't they coming towards me but with the seven of cups i find a lot of confusion here okay something's not clear you're not thinking practically i think you're still in that wishful thinking leo but they're coming towards you. They're coming towards you. They want this. They 100% they want this reconciliation. They want this. Take this risk. Take this leap of faith with you. Okay? So it's going to be after you, Leo. You're doing you is what I'm getting. You're doing you. And now they're coming behind you. Now they're going to chase. Cute. I like that. I like that very much. 
I hope this reading resonates with you. Uh, with you, Leo. Please like, share, subscribe, leave your comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.